Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is another one from Aviator Brewery. This is their Hot Rod Red. Uh, this is a draft ale, it says here underneath the label. Uh, alcohol volume 6.1%. And it's got a real nice flavor, guys. It's got a big hot rod on it. I've seen it in the opening there. With some pipes on it. Uh, on the side here, uh, it says, based on the classic Irish Red, this ale is spicy and a bit hoppy. The beer has malty sweetness and ends a somewhat dry finish. Traditional East Kent Goldings are used with a nice touch of Cascade. A dash of roasted barley gives this ale a nice deep red color and a back end roasted grain flavor. The malts are two row pale, crystal 80, Munich white wheat and roasted barley. And the hops, like I said there, Cascade Centennial East Kent Goldings. The IBUs are 48, SRM is 15, that's the color for the class. And I don't see any date on the label. Give us everything but the date on a hoppy beer. Come on, guys. The uh, the beer company Aviator Brewery is out of Pukwake. Fuquay, Marina, North Carolina. Year-round serving on this one. Irish red ale. The food pairings. Uh, the meat is pork and poultry. Uh, the glassware. The pint. Beckerstein. A mug. A tumbler. Not anything you want to pour it in. It's pouring in something. And the beer is not recommended for extended cellaring. A uh, 6.10. It's going to keep for a little while, but this is supposed to be a hoppy beer. So we need that date so we know how old the beer is, guys. So it may have something digitized on it somewhere. But it's a rival frizz and it's got the condensation on it. Uh, so you cannot see it. And a lot of these companies that sell these beers, the craft beer stores, do not sell these refrigerated. Some of them do, some of them don't. If it's a hoppy beer, it needs to be refrigerated. Bottom line, basically. But they take a lot of refrigeration from them. Keep all the hoppy beers refrigerated in the craft store that I visit. Uh, it is a very red, uh, reddish amber colored ale. Very red. It didn't pour uh, super aggressive because I didn't want a monster head. And the head that it did pour is dissipated. A lot of bubbles trimming up. Let's get a nose on this one, guys. Very clear. I can see right through it. Wow. It has got a rich caramel toffee smell right off the bat. Uh, it almost smells like a brown ale. Very sweet, malty smell on the nose, guys. Not getting any hops. They are they're blending. They're blending in it or being overpowered by the uh, by the malt. Well, caramel toffee is what I'm getting on the nose, guys. Give it a taste. Cheers. Very rich and caramelly. It does have a bitter back end on it. Very thin. Tastes very good for the style. It's a very pleasant wee heavy. Wee heavy's not being my style. I have had some good ones. That is pleasant. That is pleasant. The alcohol tastes a little stronger than a 6.10 though. It's not as hidden as well as it should be. It almost tastes like it's a seven and a half to eight percent. I 
you drink this, I mean, it's not bad. It's got a, got a very nice roasty, caramelly taste. That's what I'm getting. And then the hops come in on the back end on the bitterness. That is the only thing I'm really getting on as far as the hop presence. I mean, this with the amount of hops that they're putting in this, it could be an older beer. So, like I said, I don't know what the date is on the bottle, guys. We'll check when we come back to do the final chug. Uh, if there's anything, anything on the bottle that we can do, that we can see. So, we're gonna have to warm up. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. So, not getting a big hot presence on this one. Nice, rich, caramely taste with a bitter back end. That's what I've got. So, stick around. We'll come back and see what it ends up being, guys. We're gonna sip on it just a little bit. See you shortly. Hi right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little left here. Very sweet. Very sweet, roasty malt. It's got rye in it, like I said, and you can taste that on the end, and it gives it a spicy, bitter finish along with the hops that they're using. You're not doing it for me, but I don't chug. Sweet toffee caramel malt and a bitter dry finish on the end of this one, guys. It's uh, really dry on the end. Mm. Didn't do it for me, guys. Uh, I'm a, I looked on the bottle when I got back, and there is no date on it anywhere. Uh, or an Irish red ale, I guess it's a, I guess it's a above average beer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grade it accordingly. I'm gonna give it a six, which is a B. Uh, not my style, guys. If you can get this beer, like I said, they're out of North Carolina. This is not even distributed here in Virginia. So I don't know if they're distributing south or west or where they're distributing this beer. Or if it's only available in North Carolina, it may be only available locally there. So, guys, with that being said. Uh, you had it give me some comments back on this one I'm pretty sure you'd have to live in North Carolina to probably get this one not really sure what their distribution is like I said rate beer has 80 overall and 97 in the style and beer Abbott comes up with an 84 on this one and I agree with that that's about where I've got an 84 it's a it's a big beer so that's where I'm gonna leave it guys if you've had this one give me some comments back on this one as always make comments subscribe and let's look at the fridge tomorrow let's do it together see you then